WWE have denied Mustafa Ali's request to be released from the company. This is coming off of a report from Fightful that WWE have said, no, they're not going to release Mustafa Ali internally, and they have no plans to do so. It's also worth to note that in this report, we found out that Mustafa Ali actually has years, yes, years left on his current deal with the company. So it's possible that he is not going to get out of this anytime soon, and he's just going to be sitting around doing nothing. Um, again, this is coming off the heels of him requesting his release last week very publicly. He said that he cannot do and deliver the message that he wants to deliver while being employed by World Wrestling Entertainment. He put out a graphic saying as much. And relatively, he's been quiet. He hasn't. He obviously hasn't given any interviews. He's posted some stuff on social media. Um, mostly wrestling-related stuff. It's interesting. He's posted a video on Twitter about him doing uh, cattle mutilation. Um, the move, obviously. And other wrestling moves. But other than that, he's been silent. Um, outside of his initial tweet requesting his release. Now, the, this was one of the two paths that WWE could have gone. The one path could, would have been the more Tony, their approach with someone like Tony Storm, which was she requested her release and was granted it immediately almost. Um, in this instance, they have decided not to release Mustafa Ali. Now, you could very easily say that, hey, They'd be dumb to let him go, right? Because he is one of the best wrestlers there is out there. He delivers a great promo. He, the, the the potential as far as marketing and, and reaching a new audience is, with him is just, just so great. Why would you release him? And that's a great, great um, reason not to release him. But if that's why you weren't going to release him, you probably should have used them in a better way. Just saying, um, it's, it's because if he if he was used in a better way, he would not have requested his release. Obviously, he no longer wishes to be with the company. That much is clear. This is not the first time that someone has made a very public request for a release and gotten denied, basically, or denied behind closed doors. Uh, the same thing happened with Luke Harper, uh, Brody Lee, obviously, back in, I believe, 2018, 2017, around that time. He requested his release very publicly on Twitter, and then we saw the, you know, the tweets coming out. It's Wednesday, you know what that means, every day, and nothing really happened because WWE just didn't do anything. And again, this was the other path. The other path was WWE retains his contract, WWE doesn't let him go, and they just either let him sit at home or sit in catering and just go about their business. Uh, in the in the Luke Harper slash Brody Lee case, they actually ended up adding more time to his contract for however long he was out. So there's that to think about with Ali's situation. The other re thing you have to obviously think about is the fact that dude still has years left on his contract. So there's a chance that He's not going to be let go of the company. Like, if he's not let go of the company, obviously, there's a chance that he just stays there for years and doesn't do anything. Now, we saw Neville do basically that. Neville literally just sat at home for, I believe, over a year and just didn't do anything. Uh, and eventually, his contract ran out. He left. Now he's in AEW doing what uh, Neville does or doing what Pac does, I should say. But yeah, th this situation just got a little more, I don't want to even say clear, but I think it got a little more messy, but we'll see. You know, at the end of the day, Mustafa Ali is one of the most nice, kind, and professional people in pro wrestling. So I don't think it would be in his, I don't think he would. he's the type of person who would, you know, be very bombastic in public you know blasting his blasting wwe or, or doing anything like that um you know i again we don't know the full story obviously there was that there was that disagreement that argument that he had with vince mcmahon over creative he's been frustrated uh, about creative for a very long time you could tell that from many past interviews he's done so it's just another wrinkle in the story it's gonna play out over the next however long because Mustafa Ali is still under contract for years. Um, and yeah, but when we find out more, we'll bring it to you.
Thanks for watching this video from Real Take Sports Talk. Remember to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Also remember to check out our live show every single Thursday at 8 p.m. right here on the YouTube channel. And remember, keep it real.